Hey guys, Ryan with Motorcycle.com here with the 2018 Honda Africa Twin Adventure Sports. We just took this thing on a ride today in Pres well outside of Prescott, Arizona. It was about 60% on-road, 40% off-road. So we really got a chance to test the thing out, test the traction control, test the off-road modes, um, play with all the, uh, <laughs> all the different electronics, and there are a lot of electronics on this bike. So I, I think one of the things that we need to focus on are, are the upgrades, right? So the upgrades for the Adventure Sport are you get a bigger tank, you get a lot of the accessories that are available for the standard model, like the rack, the bigger bash plate, you got some, um, they call them light bars, we won't call them crash bars, because no one wants to crash. At first I was confused when they, when they released this model. They wanted to add more touring capability because a lot of people were uh, comparing it to the BMW GS 1200, uh, the, K the bigger KTMs, things like that. So what they did here is they, they upped the touring capability of the motorcycle. And I think they did a good job with that, but they also upgraded the um, off-road capability of the motorcycle. You've got a higher spring rate front and rear in the forks. You've got almost an inch of more travel in the fork and the shock. And that translates to about an inch uh, more ground clearance. So. It is a little bit sportier. I haven't spent a lot of time on the previous Africa Twin, um, but I've talked to some other guys who have, and they said the, the suspension on this motorcycle is immediately, um, you can really tell the difference between the two. So, you know, take that for what it is. I, I can't, you know, attest to it. Um, one thing that I will mention though, it's got a, I believe it's 36.4 or, something like that for the uh, seat height and it's a really tall seat I own a KTM 1190 Adventure R and it's got a 35 inch seat height this is even taller maybe uh, I'd have to check but maybe the tallest in the adventure bike segment right now and uh, it's kind of a, a bear when you're 5 8 30 inch inseam this thing's over six inches taller than my inseam and I dropped it today so <laughs> I'm, I've dropped my KTM uh, just at a standstill, jumping on it too fast. And today jumped on it too fast, was in a hurry, uh, not paying attention and I tipped over. So <laughs> it happens and it's gonna maybe happen with a seat height this tall, but once it's moving, it feels great. When you're on the road, it rails through the canyons. We had a great time today in Canyon Roads. We also had a good time on the dirt. You hit that traction control to one, hit the G button, it engages the clutch a little quicker, and it works really nicely off-road. Um, hit the traction control at one, it'll make you feel like a hero as you blast through turns, kicking the thing, kicking the uh, rear tire out, get it all sideways, and uh, the thing will keep you reined in so you're not gonna, you know, well, mostly reined in, so you're not gonna crash. We're about halfway through our route today for the Africa Twin Adventure Sports and it has been fantastic. We've done some canyon rides, uh, some fire roads, some little sections of uh, more technical trails, and I think we're gonna be getting into a little bit more of that after lunch here. I'm looking forward to it. The bike has been fantastic. The DCT, these are all DCT models. That has been a learning curve, but it's re it works really well. I'm not saying I completely would, uh, would want one of those, but I'm glad that they made this only a DCT launch to kind of force everyone to get out of their comfort zone and try this thing out and not, you know, be so close-minded. So be more open-minded using the DCT in the dirt and in the canyons. It's been an interesting experience. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll touch back with a little more information later. I mean, overall today was a fantastic day riding this motorcycle. I can't wait uh, to be able to get one in our hands, get back on our own home trails and uh, spend a little more time, maybe go over some things with a little more bumps so we can really see how the suspension works. Felt great today, but um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to being able to get our hands on it again, and I think that's it. So Ryan with Motorcycle.com, if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.